Henri Matisse began to use collages as he got older. A collage is an art form gluing many pieces of paper together. Today we're going to create our own collage inspired by Matisse. You'll need a sheet of white paper, some colored construction paper, any colors will work, a pencil, a glue stick or glue bottle, some scissors, and markers or colored pencils or crayons work good too. First, you're gonna begin by cutting out some abstract shapes or freeform shapes. Try to use as many different colors as you can. Don't worry about trying to make a shape look like something, as Matisse often did a lot of freeform shapes. Use the edges of the paper for straight edges if you like. I'm using all the colors of the rainbow. Next, you're gonna begin gluing your shapes down. Start with gluing one in the middle and then work around that middle shape. If your shape has a flat edge, you can line it up to the side of the paper. Don't be afraid to overlap your shapes as well. I like how my yellow goes on top of my red. That is a form of overlapping. And my green goes on top of my orange. Make sure everything's glued down nice and tight. While it's drying, you want to go ahead and start drawing letters of your name. It can be your first name, your last name, or both. I'm doing my last name. I'm using a black paper to create contrast. Then I'm gonna cut each of the letters out. Don't worry about being super careful in cutting out your letters. If your letters look misshapen or kind of strange, that's okay. Matisse used very different shapes and sizes to create shapes. He wasn't worried about always making everything look perfect. Remember, he didn't paint with a paintbrush, he painted with his scissors. We know that when we paint, we can't always control the way we want our paint to go. to make your letters too big as they might not fit on your paper. When you're done cutting out your letters, clean up all your paper scraps. Next, if your letters have any holes in them like an O or an R or B, you've got to try to figure out a way to get those out. One way is to fold the paper in half and make a small cut. And there you have it. You've got a hole in your center. Myron. Next, bring back your collage and begin gluing down your letters. One by one, add your letters onto your collage. If glue goes in other places, it's okay because the glue will dry clear. Next, using my remaining scrap paper, I want to cut out some different shapes. You can try cutting out a swirl, little shapes, whatever makes you happy. It can be stars, it can be hearts, it can be leaves, birds. Whatever your imagination wants to do, you can do it. As I glue down my smaller shapes, I want to pick colors that are opposite of each other. For example, if I cut out a yellow piece of paper, I probably shouldn't glue it on the yellow section as you wouldn't be able to see it very well. So try to pick contrasting colors. Remember, the contrast in art is important as it attracts the viewer to your artwork. I'm trying to make my shapes kind of point towards my name so that you can see it better. This helps draw the attention of the viewer to the middle of the picture. Sometimes your shapes create what's called a positive and negative effect. The positive shape is the shape you cut out. The negative is the paper left behind. Both of those can be used. Next, using some markers, I want to fill in some of the white spots around my picture. I'm going to take some black markers and outline my shapes. Using some other markers, I can go into the white areas and add some different types of lines. Some swirl lines, 
some diagonal lines. You can draw some shapes, whatever you want. It almost looks like Myron's at a party. You can call it your party collage if you want. You don't have to use every color of the rainbow. You can work in a color scheme. Maybe you just like cool colors. Maybe you just like warm colors. Whatever you want. That's the fun about art. When you're finished, don't forget to sign your name at the bottom. And voila, you're done.